Ernest Hemingway once said, write drunk, edit sober. It turns out great advice for automating processes with AI agents. But why? <laughs> like, does it mean that we should do all of the hard work drunk and then just look at the results when we're sober? No, that's a, that's a great way to get yourself fired or just <laughs> like really ruin your health. So let's not do that. Let's not like, build everything pissed. Right, so what does it mean though? It means that you have different types of intelligence inside your mind. What he's, what he's recognizing here is that there's a creative and a rational part to the human and that sometimes it's hard to move between them. So he introduces drink as a means of moving from creative to rational. Now you can do this perfectly sober as well, right? Like we've all, you know, we literally have a split brain where one side of our brain works as the creative side and the other side works as a rational side. Now sure some people prefer creative and some people prefer rational, that's that's how that is, but it doesn't mean that we can't flick between the two. But what, what he is getting at here is that it's hard, it's very hard for a human to move from being creative in one moment to rational in the next moment. That is very difficult and so he's using drink as a means to get you across that and that's the joke that he's playing on there. But this is very important for like AI agents because it's a different set of constraints. You know, we're not asking a human that's been one way their entire life to suddenly flip and be different. That's very hard. The switching costs are very high and very real with humans. They are not with AI agents. We're, we're able to conjure up little buckets of intelligence out of the air and give them whatever personality, thinking type and information and context that they need like in that moment before we can get rid of them and do a new one that is completely different. So what that means is that when we're building like AI agent systems to get good results, we need to lean into the concept that the switching costs are now zero. There is no overhead or cost to going from having a completely creative um, AI agent that can spin out hundreds of ideas to then having an entirely critical agent that spins up and then just critiques all those ideas and comes out with like, well, this one might work. You know, that would be very hard to do inside a human process. So what we're saying here is don't program drunk but do take the processes that you're looking to automate, break them down into small steps, and then automate them with the agents that have the correct tools, context, and personality to do the thinking that's required in that brief moment of time. Now, if you need help doing that, just reach out and we can give you advice. Or we're doing a, like down below on the link, we're doing a talk in a few weeks time where we'll go over a lot of these concepts in one go. All right, cheers.